Hi viewers, here we have our ES56 series of solenoid valve. Now, it's a zero differential, normally open valve. So when there's no power to the valve, the flow is through, power to the valve, the valve will close. It's a 304 stainless steel body. Uh, it's got an IP65 weatherproof dim plug and coil. Great for applications such as tank drain, low pressure, vacuum, anything where you're not going to get a substantial differential pressure across the valve, this valve is great for. I'll just take it apart to show you how it works briefly. I'll take the top nut off, slide the coil off. Here we're left with the operator and body. Now one giveaway that it's a normally open valve is this little nut on the bottom of the operator. Um, normally closed valves tend not to have that. I'll take the body off and we'll, we'll show you how it works. So undo these four bolts. So if I take this off, you'll see that the operator and lid of the valve comes away and we're left with the diaphragm here. Now in this diaphragm, we have a bleed on hole and we have a jet which bleeds the pressure off through the valve. So in its normally open position, there's, n there's nothing covering this jet here, so the flow comes on and bleeds off. So, so it bleeds off faster than it comes on, that means the diaphragm's pushed up and we get flow through. Now how does it close? Well, up in here we have the operator and armature. Now if you see the seat here, when this armature's powered, this seat comes down and sits on the jet on the top of the diaphragm. Now that closes the bleed off. So not only does it close the bleed off, it keeps this diaphragm in place. So when there's no pressure, this diaphragm is going to be held closed. When there is pressure in place, the pressure will come up through the bleed hole in the diaphragm and won't be able to escape. It'll be held on here. Now this operator is held off by a spring in the operator here. To put it back together or to maintain, make sure that these holes are clean in the diaphragm and there's nothing under the seat. Line the top up of the body and put the holes, put the bolts back in. 